सुनीत वर्मा born in 1964 in aligarh in the northern state of uttar pradesh comes from a family of bankers and calls himself the only black sheep of the family In his childhood he was most enchanted by Shakespearean literature, sculptures and the socio-cultural impact of war on clothing. His primary interest was in textile history and he started out trying to become a costume curator and wants to one day when he has had enough of being a fashion designer teach fashion history. In 1984 Verma went to study fine arts at the American School of London. there he studied about paintings sculptures about textile and later they became clothing his ability to understand human being makes him a legend of all the fashion revolutions only one merits special mention later he went on to work with Yves Saint Laurent in Paris refused work permit for my later returned to India and started teaching at NID and NIFT then he was asked to work for flying machine jeans In 1991 Verma had his first show inspired by a Greek sculpture and ode to Venus and Aphrodite where he showed breastplates molded in acrylic and leafed in antique gold I have a constant drive to push myself beyond levels of endurance said the man whose costume for the award winning movie Monsoon Wedding was nominated for the Oscars He created the look for Hrithik Roshan and Barbara Mori in the movie Kites A Sunit Verma show is always about ravishing flamboyance of floral and avian motifs in rich embellishment and dazzling colors. His couture line is full of shimmer and shine of treasure chest and color palette of a rainbow. In 2004 at a multi-million dollar wedding of the daughter of steel tycoon Lakshmi Mittal, Verma was commissioned to do 125 outfits. and in his own words got 90% of the business Sunit Verma being a couturier with wedding chuzo being his signature style and embroideries being his USP he designed dresses that required enormous amount of fabric by doing so he was showing off a beautiful woman beautifully dressed and he was selling a dream of perfect ceremony and the time of elegance abundance and plenty In 2004 he was also invited to do a show at the Alta Roma Fashion Week in Rome and his print line Lace Price has seen great success in recent years. The key to his success says Verma is the way he looks at luxury. He doesn't really understand less he says. Associations with some of the strongest international brands make him a designer whose forte goes beyond a unidimension profile. Sunit Verma for Judith Lieber are now being retailed across the world at the Judith Lieber boutiques. His signature bags are carried by the Sex and the City star Sarah Jessica Parker and other Hollywood divas. His designs are also very popular amongst the leading ladies of Bollywood like Aishwarya Rai, Priyanka Chopra, Kangana Ranaut, Preeti Zinta. and are featured on the international and indian red carpet the face of bmw motors since 2007 sunith hosts events agency launch car unveiling and events hosted by the bmw foundation and now he associates with finlandia the unspoiled vodka brand for the past decade sunith verma has worked with international designers at swarovski on clothing and interior projects In 1997, Sunit Verma conceptualized and hosted India's first and only international fashion and style program, Sunit Verma Style Guru for Star World, a weekly television program aired all over Southeast Asia. He interviewed and explored entities like Tom Ford, Yves Saint Laurent, Cartier, and many more. In 2005, Sunit collaborated with an Indian menswear label. Tuscan Vogue and designed his signature collection establishing him in the menswear industry admired for his enigmatic work in India and the world Sunit has been awarded the designer of the year award several times 
by the Bollywood Fashion Council in New York City. As a consultant designer, Sunit has also developed designs for Design House in Europe and the USA, namely Donna Karan, Calvin Klein and Nicole Miller. The designer was invited to Milan and to Rome Fashion Weeks in 2005 to showcase his collection. He has done shows in London, Paris, New York, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Berlin and LA. Sunit has been commissioned several times by the government of India to work with the textile sector and revive the handlooms of Banaras and South India and the collection have sold at the Heem Textile Fair in Frankfurt. Sunit has previously worked with Vogue, GQ, L, Harper Bazaar and the like. Breaking all records, in September 2010, Sunit entered the Lemka Book of Record by creating the world's longest embroidered sari for Vogue's iconic worldwide event, Fashion Night Out. Measuring 55 meters, this work of art was the main highlight of the high fashion event. On his 22nd anniversary, there was a four-day exhibition of fashion print art, Eye of the Beholder, where Sunit Verma's classic fashion meets photographic art by India's best fashion lensman. His spring-summer 2010 collection, The Life was of a Swan, inspired by Swan Lake. The ballet tells the story of a princess turned into a swan by evil saucer's curse and the subsequent triumph of love. Inspired by the music and dance of the classical ballet, the great choreographers, this is a poetic version of the fragility, beauty and elegance of a life of swan. The sheer collection creates vivid poetry on the ramp with many shades of pinks, greens and lilacs, all inspired by the dance of the swans by the lakeside. The silhouette ripples and reflects the wonderful changes of colour of water from dawn to dusk, bringing in a sheer luminosity of this entire collection. Verma describes his style as elegant, glitzy and super glamorous. His signature is his ability to create ensembles and silhouettes close to the body and he loves to embellish his designs with appliques, sequins and crystals. In fact, his generous use of crystals on his garments led Swarovski to name Varma the largest consumer of crystals in India. Bringing alive on stage the most celebrated Hindu text in the world today, Sunit Varma presents Kama Sutra in the Delhi Kutur week. Hinting seduction with every glimpse of a bare ankle adorned with a delicate pajib. It is the youthful manner of a seductress that the designer reflects in his inspiration. Fantastical and feminine, the collection is sheer, sensual and dramatic. Deep red, orange and fuchsias paint a picture of heart and its steaming desire in long, flowing skirts contrasted with embellished metallic brass. He celebrated his 25th anniversary with a fashion show at the Yale of Emporio this April called The Eternal Lightness of Being, to love, to hold, to kiss. He says, with this I look at the future, here's to the next 25 years, and dedicates the collection to a friend and muse, Nandita Basu, also a designer. His collection was a departure point, displaying that the best way to celebrate the past is to shed it. This was strong and good fashion. Flowery prints, beautiful modern silhouettes in a riot of colors. Charity starts with Ram for Sunit Verma. In his CSR activities, he has participated in fashion shows organized by FDCI titled From Ashes to Beauty to educate people about the threats of human trafficking. In 2010, Sunit Verma did a show called I Believe I Can, showcased to raise fund for the NGO Itasha, which provides training and employment opportunities to young people from disadvantaged communities. Lastly, in his words, Sunit Verma says, I may have completed 25 years in the fashion industry, but I still feel I am a student, constantly wishing to learn more.